everybody. Welcome back. Look at that double yolk. I am making a quiche for breakfast, but I'm also going to make some cinnamon, um, what was it called? Cinnamon applesauce, applesauce bread, I think, um, for like a second breakfast kind of thing, because last week Ashlyn told me I make breakfast at 730 and then we don't eat lunch until later. And so they all usually want a second round of breakfast. And she was like, mom, you should just make another breakfast because we don't normally have all of our breakfast left. Sometimes we do. How many eggs did I crack? Three, four. Um, and so I'm going to make the quiche, but then also have the bread going. That way they can have bread too. So six eggs, about a cup of milk. I'm going to add some cheddar cheese. Obviously, I'm going to have to give Layla something else for breakfast. She's not going to be able to eat this, but she'll be able to eat the bread. But I don't really expect her to eat this. That's why I don't, I'm not worried about it. Um, salt. Pepper. Oh, I was thinking last night I was going to chop up a red onion and put it in here. But my brain, I hardly got any sleep last night. That was onion powder and this is garlic powder. For the past two nights, Layla's been waking up and being up for hours in the middle of the night. And I mean hours. And I feel I was so tired today. I just feel like I don't know how I'm going to make it through the day. Like, that's how tired I feel right now. But we'll make it. And bedtime will be glorious. So we're going to pour this in here. Oh, and that's ham and spinach in there too. Sprinkle the top with cheese and we'll bake this up an hour or 50 minutes, maybe just 50. I think I do about 50 minutes on 400. Now we're gonna work on the cinnamon applesauce bread. So we're gonna do half a cup of oil. It says you can do whatever oil you want or coconut oil or melted butter. I have avocado oil. Three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil. I mean, sugar. Oh my gosh. I have another kid over here. You can hear him. He woke up super, super early too. He's a very, very early riser. A quarter cup of brown sugar. Yes. He's ready for work. He wakes up every morning like a man going to work. Ready to go. Yeah. I shouldn't have used that. Mm. Is your belly hungry or does it hurt? This belly's making some noises. It's probably hungry. It's probably hungry. Wait, is your right. like Two eggs. Now I'll just put a quiche in the oven and this is going to be some applesauce bread. All right, can you mix those up? Yeah. Now it's all yellow. Because of the eggs. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to add a cup of unsweetened applesauce. Can I see this for a second? Mm -hmm. There you go. Mix that around. Mm, now, now it looks good. It looks like Wendy now. That's good. So it says a quarter cup of Greek yogurt, but I'm going to use just a little bit of this vanilla um, coconut milk yogurt. That way Layla can have it. I can smell everything. Mm -hmm. A teaspoon of vanilla. It comes out fast. Now we're going to add our dry ingredients and I'm going to add some ooh, whoa. carrot powder. Carrot powder. Flax seed, or yeah, hemp seed and flax seed. Get that. Oh, Mix all that up, buddy. It looks like you're a little bit yummy and a little bit gross to me. It'll be yummy though. Did I have have this? Um, yeah, one teaspoon of baking soda. Yeah, I love um, um half a teaspoon of baking powder. You love what? Apple bread, yeah, banana bread. 
This is kind of the same. It's so good. I, I love it. I eat it all. One cup of flour. Three quarters of a cup of whole wheat flour. What's next, flour? A tablespoon of cinnamon. This is getting hard. <laughs> Good thing you're strong. I know. And a teaspoon of nutmeg. It smells like... <coughs> it smells like yumminess. It smells like yumminess? Yeah. You're doing a good job mixing it. Yep. Okay, now we bake this at 350 for 45 to 55 minutes. It is Monday here and boy are we feeling the Mondays let me tell you it's been just I am so tired this morning but it's okay nighttime is coming and I will go to sleep later um, anyway the kids loved having two different things this morning made so if I can make it I'm thinking if I can make both things in the morning it'll be easier but if I don't get around to making two things in the morning um, they'll just eat the same breakfast twice or something like that because I'm not gonna have time to get up to make something else so if you haven't been watching the past couple videos I know I said it earlier I have one child that said I need to make six meals a day um, because they eat so much so I was like mm, not six but yes I'll make you something between breakfast and lunch because she said I make breakfast at 7 30 they're always hungry again around 10 10 30 so instead of just kind of snacking all day maybe it would be better if I made something will I do it every day probably not will I do it sometimes yes when I can whatever but um yeah that's just what we're gonna try we're gonna try to throw in something else versus them just like free nilly willy going through and eating whatever and everybody wants something different it might be a little bit uh more budget friendly and sanity friendly to have like one thing made for everybody again so i'm just kind of thinking through like i haven't even thought it through in my own head we've talked about it a couple times but i just feel like this whole past week and weekend has been a blur because everything has been so busy lately that i haven't even had time to like sit down and think out the logistics of how to actually make two things at once so i am thinking it through as i'm speaking to you there you go thank you thank you for listening to my word vomit because sometimes i just can't even do it until i start talking it out loud and that is right this second so uh if i make two things at once in the morning like i did this morning then i had both available that was nice um but like i said some mornings i probably won't get up be able to do that and that's okay if i can great if i can't great as well so I think for lunch, we're going to do like a California sushi roll bowl. We have some leftover rice in the fridge. We have cucumbers, we have crab meat, um, and then we have, what else goes in it? Avocado, and then we'll make up some sauce to go on top and um, some sesame seeds or not because the kids probably won't even want the sesame seeds and we'll just have that um and then i have the younger two will not eat that so we have some leftover bang bang chicken um some leftover egg rolls so i'll heat them up something to go along with it but me ash and everly will probably eat the bowls um wilder might as well he does like sushi something like he's getting into it i just cannot see him eating 
the bowl. I'll ask him. Um, there's a chance he might, but there's another chance that he might not. So I'll have to see what he wants. But um, we are still in the midst of school. We're taking a break. Kiddos are outside. I just switched laundry. Um, we need to get the dishwasher emptied. The other dishes loaded. I feel like there's a lot of things. The kitchen needs to be cleaned. Um, I don't know, just a lot of things because like I said, this past week has just been a blur. It's been so busy. I need to clean the house. I need to get a lot of things done this week. Um, just trying to catch up from last week, but this week is a lot more calm. We don't have anywhere near the amount of things going on that we did last week. So this week will just be kind of like a slow roll, catch up, ease back into life, which is gonna be nice. So it's a pretty nice day today. And look at all the trees blooming. Looks so nice today. So here's lunch today for me anyway, and then whoever else wants some, just like a little California roll bowl. I just put this sauce on it because I didn't have anything else and I figured this would go really well with it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and finish up on our group subjects while everyone eats their lunch. Now we get to make wind vanes. So everybody's working on theirs now. All right, so we brought everybody's wind vanes out here. For science, for the little kids, we get to, they learned about mercury today and we get to make a mercury model and go outside and throw rocks at it to make craters on mercury. So they have this. When they're finishing up one last thing, when they're done, we're gonna go do that outside. So make some craters on mercury. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. So Miss Ashlyn's gonna help me make dinners this week. So we're back to her. The other kids didn't seem very interested. They each had weeks, but no one really, Everly said that she really wanted to, but then every time that it came to, she didn't want to stop what she was doing to come help. But right. Ashlyn's been a real good sport about it. So we're going to do spaghetti and meatballs for dinner. So I have two pounds of ground beef in here. I'm preheating the oven to 400. I'm going to let her get all of this together and then um, we'll roll them into balls and bake them on 400. I don't really know. I think maybe about 15, 20 minutes. Honestly, I just put them in there and keep an eye on it. So Ashlyn, do you want to come here and crack two eggs? She's eating. <laughs> the eggs are back there. Where do I put them? Put them in here. That's fine. Probably going to make another one. Oh, all right. Oh, sorry. And that just went all over my finger. <laughs> oh! Oops. <laughs> All right, you can wash your hands real quick. That one broke really easily. Yep. Some of them do. Squirt some ketchup. Well, we should have gone cheese from it. How much? Um, just squirt. That's good. A couple of dashes of Worcestershire sauce. Wash your, wash your sister sauce? Yes, wash your sister sauce. I can't open it. There you there go. go. Just a couple of dashes. Some bread crumbs. Honestly, I can't even see it, so I don't even know what you're pouring. You just, you, all that. Oh yeah, you can pour a little bit more. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> Some minced onion. Cause oh, we're being lazy and not cutting up onion. So we're just gonna shake some in there. I'm gonna cut up onion. However much onion you want. You decide how much onion is gonna be in there. I don't like onion. We'll do that much. Okay. Some Italian seasoning. That's good. And then salt, pepper, garlic. salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. All the four of those from there down. Okay. What you doing, Lou? How much should I put in here? Mm, a little bit more. Season it good. You want them to taste good. We'll just do that. I don't know. Outside. I don't know how much to add, so. All right, take off your shoes. I'm just adding that much. Let Nashville do all the measurements here. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how much to put. I believe in you. You can do it. Okay. You can do it. Ooh, that much. We're just sketching over here. We're just... <laughs> Are you good? I think so. Alright, we're gonna put the this one. 
She's back to eating. She said, all right, my job's done. Mm -hmm. We're gonna mix it around. Whoa. I know. the zucchini again so we're gonna do the same zucchini we did the other night you just slice it really really thin brush the melted butter top it with parmesan cheese bake 400 until it's crispy the burnt ones are the best ones that's the ones everyone goes for Everly actually asked me earlier when I was gonna make this if I would cook them longer this time because those are the best ones they just have the best flavor we just brush and sprinkle with Parmesan cheese. I need to get more butter and another sheet for the rest of these. So I'm running out of sheet pans now, but I need to make some garlic bread too. And hopefully I can cook a little bit and then get some of the zucchini out and then cook some more because this isn't going to fit everybody's on here. You fell. Oh my gosh, I thought Layla just fell, but she, she didn't. She's just playing. She's playing with the cat tower thing. Okay, so we'll brush this with this butter too since I have extra. So we'll sprinkle, sprinkle all this with garlic salt and garlic powder. And then I'm just going to put this in on 400 as well. Save one hair for Layla, and then there's just an extra that doesn't fit on the tray. And then over here, I've got water boiling, and we're gonna make two pounds of angel hair pasta because that's all I have. And we have our meatballs and sauce heating up. So here's how dinner came out tonight. Everybody is very excited and ready to eat. I've got 15 eggs today. Spaghetti is always a hit here. So everybody ate a ton of dinner, and I purposely made enough that we would have leftovers for lunch. So we have enough for us to have lunch tomorrow, which is great. And I got some stuff out here to make some breakfast in the morning. So I thank you guys for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.